Wizard101 has a 13 year story, so it's about time we go back to the beginning and remember how far we've come. Welcome to the story so far. Arc 1 follows the story of Malastare, the ex-death professor at the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. He is mourning the loss of his wife Sylvia, who was the life professor before Moulin de Wu. Our story starts in Wizard City, the heart of the spiral. We learn early on that Malastare is causing trouble around Wizard City, raising undead on most of the streets. While causing chaos, Malastare sinks the death school below Ravenwood campus, plunging it into Nightside. After doing this, he steals Bartleby's Eye of History in his search for the Croconomicon. The Order of the Fang is an ancient order of Crocotopians, led by Al Hazred, the Balanced Professor. They were responsible for putting the now reawakened Tuts to sleep. This was done through the Book of Rituals, also known as the Croconomicon. This book is the most powerful knowledge of life and death magic in the spiral, and funnily enough, is what Malastare is seeking in Crocotopia. Unfortunately, none of the Malabonian archaeologists know where this book is. In order to figure out where the book is, we assemble the order. We begin our search for Crocopatra, Queen of the Tuts. She is brought back to life when Malastare came searching for the Croconomicon, thus causing all the Tuts to rise again. After her defeat, the Tuts fall back to a slumber. She says she locked the Croconomicon in the Sarcophagus of Souls long ago, which happened to no longer be in Crocotopia, and is headed to a museum in Malibone. We make the hop to Malibone and find the curator of the Royal Museum. Unfortunately, we are not allowed access to the sarcophagus while it's being prepared for display. The only way for us to get access is with the mayor's permission. Unfortunately, with the recent gang uprisings taking place in Malibone, the mayor is not letting anything important out on the streets, meaning we must stop the gang uprisings. Sherlock Bones is on the case investigating the O'Leary gang and who is truly behind the problem. We meet with some of Sherlock's informants in Hyde Park and Chelsea Court. This leads us to finding Baxter, a criminal who helps us find Pops O'Leary in the ironworks. Sherlock Bones sends us to his colleague Watson at Scotland Yard. He sends us head first into the Newgate prison, trying to stop the escape of Meow Yadi, Malibone's smartest cat criminal. Whilst talking to some of the officers, it is revealed that Malastare is behind the escape. Malastare is raising an army of golems created by the mad scientist Dr. Katzenstein. We find his lab and defeat him, creating our own golem to find out where they are all going. The golem tells us it must head to Big Ben to defend its master. This leads us back to the museum. Meow Yadi is hiding out in Big Ben with the Croconomicon. In order to reach him, we need to reset the counterweights. Many levers later, the counterweights get reset and we gain access to the clock tower. Once at the top of the tower, we see Malastare. He says he is using the Croconomicon to finish what he started and that he is heading to Dragonspire. We consult with Headmaster Ambrose and even he agrees this could be trouble. Luckily, the only spiral key to Dragonspire is held by the Emperor of Mushu. Unfortunately, Malastare bit us to it and attempted to obtain the key. The Emperor refused. Malastare then cursed the Emperor, putting him into a deep sleep, stole the key, and fled to Dragonspire. In order for us to get the key to follow him, we must heal the Emperor with the help of the monks. The local warlords are vying to rule over Mushu while the Emperor is asleep most notably Warlord Katsumori, who has been plagued by the War Oni. Defeating the Oni reveals the Emperor's Sword, the first part in order to reverse Malastare's curse. Next is pure water. However, the Plague Oni has tainted the waters of Mushu. <laughs> in order to defeat this Oni, we need to rebuild the Jade Scepter to purify the shrines. Once doing this, the Plague Oni is dealt with, allowing us to get pure water to cure the Emperor's mind. The last piece of the puzzle is to cure the Emperor's body. This requires us to defeat the Death Oni, who has taken up refuge in the Tree of Life. In order to get there, we must cross the Cursed River. This is done by using a large spirit trapped in a spirit cage. Unfortunately, we must make the cage and find the spirit ourselves. Once crossing the river, we come face to face with the Death Oni and defeat it once and for all. 
This allows the Tree of Life to grow its fruit once more, which is the last part needed to cure the Emperor. However, the Emperor himself is possessed by the Jade Oni, which must be defeated before the Emperor can be cured. The Jade Champion gives us the Dragon Spire Spiral Key that Malastare dropped on his way through the Spiral Door with the Emperor's Blessing, and we head to Dragon Spire to confront Malastare. Cyrus Drake, the Myth Professor, Malastare's brother, is the key to defeating Malastare. He is tasked to help us in Dragon Spire. After catching up with him in the Basilica, he explained Dragon Spire has three layers of security which we need to get through. Luckily, the first layer is open, and we head to the library. We need the next portal stone, which will open the portal to the next layer of Dragon Spire. However, this stone is a lot harder to track down than you would think. We first head to the archives, where portal stones used to be kept. Unfortunately, that ends in betrayal. We are then recommended to go to the stonekeeper in order to get the stone from him. However, we must prove that we are worthy. We talk to his generals and get their recommendations. He then explains he locked his portal stone away in the Grand Chasm before the Dragon Titan's army assault. In order to get the stone, we must travel back in time using the Time Crystal to before the Dragon Titan's assault and find the Vault Keeper to get the key to the vault the portal stone is locked in. After doing so, we take the portal stone back to the Stone Keeper and he charges it for us ready to access the next layer of defense. We then must take the Trial of Admittance to be allowed access to the final layer of Dragonspire. We learn about the wonders of Drakes and the history of Dragonspire Academy. We have finally gained access to the next layer. The only problem is we don't have the Portal Stone and we need a written letter of acceptance from the Dean. Luckily, these are found both in the same place, the Labyrinth. The Dean was placed here after kidnapping the Academy staff and starting the summoning ritual for the Dragon Titan. Once he is defeated, we obtain his badge as a sign of our acceptance, and in his belongings is the final portal stone. We make our way into the Academy, finally. The Fire School Tree Ashley states that Malastair is on top of the volcano in the Headmaster's quarters. However, the only way up is to fly. We must become a Dragon Rider. First, we need to obtain the Dragon Rider Staff, which has been broken into pieces and scattered throughout the spiral. After obtaining the pieces, we must reassemble the staff. It needs a crystal head, which needs to be crafted from the crystal crafters in the crystal grove. After obtaining the head, we forge the staff together, forming the Dragon Rider Staff. Next step is getting a drake. We head to the drake hatchery and hatch our own drake egg. We then need to learn how to fly from the knowledge crystals in the forum. With these three things, we are finally ready to fly to the top of the volcano to take Malastare down once and for all. Atop the volcano, Malastare is there, ready to revive Sylvia. When we meet him, we show him the knowledge crystal with the spirit of his wife, which we collected along the way in the Necropolis. The only way to stop him is to defeat him once and for all and put this chapter to rest.